and we got talking and this one lady, she was very kind and I gave her my notes and everything and she was very appreciative and I walked away feeling good. And about three years ago, she shot me a note and she's like, hey Brian, I don't know if you'll remember me, but my name is Wendy. I saw you speak here, you helped edit it, and I got a book deal. Round two. Welcome to the story. Again. Well, back. We're here. All right. So today we got a healthy dose of positivity. Positivity and some celebrations going on with Brian. Clems. With Brian Clems. Check it out. My goal really over time has been to help writers achieve their goals and dreams, allow them to uh, get published if that's what their goal is, if their goal is to build a platform, help them with that, and if their goal is simply just to complete a manuscript so they have something to do, which I believe is the toughest thing in the world. So if you finish that, I believe that my job uh, when I meet people is to help them achieve those goals. And I hope to be able to do that. And I love hearing, I absolutely love hearing when people I've either taught in a course or helped edit uh, their manuscript or anything finds writing and publishing success. I remember I spoke earlier in my career at, a, uh, at an event in, in Miami University in Oxford, Ohio. I talked and I also did uh, 10 page edits or 20 page edits where I edited the first 20 page and then I met with the person. For a while and th this was over a decade ago and we got talking and this one lady she was very kind and I gave her my notes and everything and she was very appreciative and I walked away feeling good and about three years ago she shot me a note and she's like hey Brian I don't know if you'll remember me but my name is Wendy I saw you speak here you helped edit it and I got a book deal and I mean that, that much time had passed so you never know it could be right away it could be later or whatever but the fact that she reached out to me just it made my day it just made my day wonderful because you know in publishing, there's so much rejection, and it's so hard to build your platform. It's so hard to find people to notice you. And so because of that, whenever you, any success that you find, I feel like you should celebrate. I often say this when I give talks, is that, um, you know, when, when I finished, you know, my proposal, I, I celebrated. When I landed an agent, I celebrated. When we landed the book deal, I celebrated it. When I got to hold the book, the hardcover book, for the first time from the publisher, I went out to lunch with my wife and I could not open the envelope it was in. We celebrated. And uh, when the book officially came out, I threw a book launch party. I paid for the food and the drinks because it was worth it. Because this industry is so tough. Just like pro sports, you want to be a professional sports player, you have to work so hard to get there. And it's like with publishing, I feel like it's the same way. And so whenever you can, whenever you can, just celebrate it. And also, if there are people along the way who have helped, absolutely let them know because it will make the day and it will make disappointed right now I, so if I would have had my first swing there like my first set would have been in the competition round I would have been better but you 
You should just be ashamed of yourself right now. No, nah, I feel pretty good. Like, I came in first. I'm the last though. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the first, last place. <laughs> I feel great. <laughs> you were holding that stiff neck too. Oh yeah, and my neck. My neck, I got a crick in my neck. Yeah. I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> Long way to the victory. My softball buddies will be happy and uh, you know, I think I'm gonna treat myself some ice cream later for this. Celebrate, I celebrate, 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 I celebrate, celebrate. Okay, okay, that's, a, that's enough. Rubbing it in there, I don't, I don't, I don't know if that's all that necessary. All of us don't play in the <laughs> <laughs> softball league, softball buddy. League. All right. Yeah, with a whole bunch of friends. Um, <laughs> man, I, I still like, even though I already said how disappointed I am, like, I was a little hurt. Like, I hurt my feelings. You kind of hurt my feelings, honestly. Like, I was like, man, I could have left this guy at home. <laughs> oh no, I felt good. I'm celebrating. You know, I feel like it went great. It went great. First, last place. It's kind of like uh, reverse winning. <laughs> <laughs> Reverse winning. But the message. The message was great, man. Celebrating the small victories is very good. Not just celebrating the small victories, but also. I don't know what that is. What did he say before? What did he Helping say? people out? Helping people out. I like the just fountain of positivity that was coming out of this guy, man. He focused on helping people out, which is like putting it forward, paying it forward. There's a certain kind of, uh, you know, pleasure you can get out of that, certain kind of satisfaction you can get out of that that'll keep you motivated and keep you wanting to press forward. So those things uh, that was said to him, like the woman coming and saying, you helped me with my book and all this, it really inspired him to keep going in what he was doing. And uh, really just... I think positivity is something that we need more of. I mean, I read so much on a daily basis. I see so much negativity on my Twitter feed. Just everywhere you look, there's negativity. So people that, Brian kind of, I think that's kind of his character. I'm kind of- the negativity you just brought earlier? You were telling me- Like that. It's, it's a natural, so I actually have to work, like I'm one of those people who's naturally cynical, mm -hmm. naturally kind of negative, look at kind of like what's wrong. Um, and so, it is always good for me to be reminded by people like him, mm -hmm. and I guess you, and I really don't know if I buy what you're selling. Wow, I'm selling first last place. <laughs> but my it's- My celebratory slurpee. It's always good to be reminded <laughs> that, you know, to be positive and to, to celebrate the small things, because writing's yes. hard. Writing is hard. Writing's hard, it's an upward, it's yeah, an uphill it's battle. People don't, a lot of people outside don't understand it or really, you know, appreciate the, the work that goes into it or even view it as work. Yeah. Maybe you like video games and maybe you play video games all the time, but maybe until you finish that chapter, you don't play a video game. And then you celebrate by playing that video game. You can bring a whole bunch of things, just whatever your thing is, you bring that into the writing process and uh, set up a reward system for yourself and see how far it takes you. Just the helping people part. I mean, it's that's another thing. It's just giving to others makes you feel Feels. good. It mm -hmm. feels nice. We actually had someone reach out to us that thanked us for hooking her up with the agent. Like that felt great. Oh, that's so sweet. Like that was the most exciting thing that's happened thus far in our story or journey. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment below, and share. Because sharing is caring. And people won't know how much you care until they see how much you share. I did it this time. That'll be the last time you ever see me do it like that story. We're out. Brian Clem's stuff is linked below, as always. Yes. Well, it's not always his stuff. I want a rematch with you. I'm not done with you, Brian Clem's. It's not over yet. I'm coming back for you. I've been practicing my batting. I've been practicing my swinging. You're going down. We still got golf. Oh, whoa. We still got golf? That's up. That's not, that's not even, that's not even put that golf video. I don't even think I can. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for the golf video. Oh, also, don't forget about that ah, that crick I had in my head. And we're, link, we're linking to the other video so you can see a little bit of the warm up round. That's it. We're going for real. Yeah, we, was, I mean, man, we was pretty good in the warm up round, actually.